Okay, so we've got a right angle triangle here, and we're given two lengths, um, and we're asked to find the angle. Now, whenever we've got two lengths and an angle in a right angle triangle, we're using trigonometry. And the first step of trigonometry is to label the hypotenuse. So you go opposite the right angle, and that's the hypotenuse. Next step is label the opposite, so the marked angle, or the one with an X on it. You go opposite that, and that's called the opposite. And the one remaining is the adjacent, and that's the one next to the marked angle and the right angle. Now, next step is you cross out the one that's not interesting. This is the one that's not next to a length or a letter. Well, it's poor old adjacent. There's nothing next to it at all on that length. Okay, next step is you write down the glorious Sokatoa. This is one that you must remember. Okay, and these are just a collection of three triangles. We've got the Saw so triangle, the Cat triangle, and the Toa triangle. And next step is you cross out the two that we don't need. Now, because I've crossed out the adjacent, I'm going to cross out all of these with the adjacent in. So this one and this one, and it just leaves me with Saw. So. Okay, now what we can do is write out sine x equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse and solve it that way. But I'm going to do a different method, say easier method. Um, but if you know that way, stick with it. So we've got sine x, and uh, the x is uh, the x in here, and s in this stands for sine. And we've got opposite on the top, so 1.5 at the top, and the hypotenuse at the bottom right, so 2.3. Now this is saying that sine x is equal to 1.5 over 2.3. Okay, so this is a bit more complicated now because we want x and not sine x. So we've basically got sine x equals 1.5 over 2.3. Now to get x on its own, we need to get rid of this sine. And to do that, we do something called the inverse sine. We do the inverse sine of both sides. So that leaves x on the left-hand side, and we're going to do the inverse sine of 1.5 over 2.3. Uh, 2 now to do this on the calculator you click shift or second function sine and it should say a little sine with a minus 1 to the power of and then you type 1.5 over 2.3 or 1.5 divided by 2.3 don't forget to close the bracket. When I've done that I have x equals 40.7057 blah blah blah. So to two decimal places this is going to be 40.71